Hello there, folks. Welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash, and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development, and personal grooming. And welcome back to another of my Am I a Chap series of videos in which I look at images which have been sent by viewers and I pass my observations and my thoughts on the outfits that have been provided for us. Quick reminder, you won't find any negativity here. All right, this is not about breaking people down and telling them they could do better. This is all about being inspired by the sartorial journey that other men are making and learning from it and becoming more dapper ourselves. So today is a little different because I've got two younger gentlemen who've sent their images in, brothers in fact, and their father wrote to me. Father was called Joseph and he says he's been one of the viewers of the channel for a while and uh, he has two sons, his elder of which is 12 year old Engelbert and he is joining his father Joseph on his journey of men's style and self-development and his younger son 10 year old Kennedy uh, are huge fans of this Am I a Chap series so Engelbert the older boy came up with the idea of writing in and submitting some images and here we are today we're going to have a look at what Engelbert and Kennedy dress like and let me say quick spoiler really they are very smart young men indeed um, let's have a look at the two brothers to start with before we break down their outfit so here they are and you know I, I i'll render my judgment on this outfit quickly just to go along just to see where we are so let's look what these two dapper young chaps are wearing so engelbert i'm guessing is on the right here as the older brother uh, 12 and let's look from the ground up, shall we? Let's see what those shoes he has on his feet there. And what we are looking at here is a pair of light tan, full wingtip Oxford brogue shoes. Very classic, very sharp. Um, I got a pair like this myself and they're just so useful, aren't they? You can wear them with jeans. You can wear them with, you know, sort of casual slacks as you have here. And they allow you to cut a dash in many different aspects of life. So for a dress shoe, a brogue for me is very, very versatile. The lighter tan color, I don't own that many in that color because of course they do uh, tend to go on a journey. As you put polish on them, they will patina over time. But these look like quite new ones actually, and they look rather sharp. So looking at the slacks that old Engelbert's got on there, uh, nice navy pair of slacks. I can't quite see too easily, but I think he's got a crease in there which is a lesson to learn early as a young gentleman. The creases in your trousers define your character to the people that you meet in life. Learn how to operate an iron and you will always look smart. Uh, I've done videos on how to iron trousers and shirts. Very well worth acquiring that skill. So at the waist, he has a light tan colored belt holding up those trousers, which are of course in keeping with those brogues which he's wearing and um, yeah what what more can you do now it's the top half of the body really where we step into the world of a bit more smart isn't it because these gentlemen look like they're dressed for a cooler day uh, and we can see Engelbert here has what appears to be some sort of uh, outer jacket on because it's a, a sort of plaid or tartan style pattern uh, and yeah it looks very smart you know it's the sort of thing which you would wear on a sort of casual day in the streets of London, I suggest, looking good. Uh, light blue shirt, button-down shirt. You wouldn't typically wear a button-down shirt with a tie, but we're gonna cut you some slack. You're a young chap, you're on a learning journey. Uh, looks like a woven tie, uh, navy in color, key in keeping with those trousers, in keeping with the whole outfit, and a nice scarf as well. My observation here, a little bit of a learning point, I noticed the scarf you're wearing is also of plaid or tartan style material. It's never a good idea to mix two tartans together. They're never going to be a natural marriage. So in place of that tartan scarf you're wearing, perhaps a nice alternative would have been maybe a, a scarf of a different color. Uh, for me, where well, you've got a lot of navy going on there, perhaps something in a burgundy palette, something which would add a pop of color to the outfit. But otherwise, looking sharp, sir. Uh, looking across to Kennedy, 
I'm loving the shoes, right? For a start, suede is a great choice. And it looks like we've got a... a I can't really see too well here. I think it's uh, some sort of adorned shoe, whether it's um, a sort of a... Uh, and uh, It's got some stitching on the toe cap anyway. But for sure, suede is a great choice as a younger person because it doesn't require a lot of effort to keep it in good condition. Just a good brush over with a stiff brush every so often. Now, looking at the slacks, what we see is um, a nice pair of patterned flannel slacks with a nice little tune-up at the bottom. I like it, yeah. It's a geometric sort of patterned trousers. Um, yeah, goes perfectly with those shoes for a start. The browns marry nicely. The brake, I mean, when you're a young person, right, you're growing so quickly at 10 and 12 years of age. You're going to grow out of these trousers in no time. So a little bit of a break, as you have here, is buying you an extra six months with the trousers, basically. So no arguments there. I can see a crease. 10, you may be a little young to start slinging around a hot iron, but certainly it's worth starting to think about it. You know, be conscious. The iron is your friend in the sartorial world. Moving up the body, um, what we see here is a lovely jacket. Now, I can't quite work out if it's a knitted sort of uh, blazer style jacket. Three buttons, bottom button undone. Notice you've done that. Very good. Uh, but whatever it is, it's got a, um, a breast pocket and you have filled the breast pocket, right? If there's a breast pocket on a garment, it's got to have some decoration in there. A nice spotted uh, pocket square, maybe a yellow in colour, I think it looks like. Really sharp. Uh, light blue shirt with also a knitted tie uh, with a couple of the autumnal colours in there, which go well with the trousers, with the shoes. You've done really well. You've put this together well. And of course, the boutonniere. It looks like a silk imitation uh, flower boutonniere on the lapel. Wow. For a young dude, you've really brought this home. You fellas are a sharp pair of siblings, for sure. Now let's have a look at an outfit from each of the young fellows uh, to see what they look like when they're apart from each other. And here we see, what a dapper little outfit this one is indeed. Let's break it down. Let's have a look at it. So, look at the shoes for a starter. Loafers. And they appear to be a sort of burgundy or an oxblood colour loafer. Uh, yeah, sharp. Very nice. Um, I've said in the past I'm not a huge fan of loafers because they're just a little bit too cash for me. But I like them. You know, they go quite well if that's your style of shoe. Not problem at all. Looking at the trousers, though, what we see in the slacks, light blue in colour. Uh, got that sort of... I forget the name of it, but uh, it's a, a double pleated pair of trousers with the with the button waist. Uh, probably got side adjusters on there rather than a belt. So it is a feature within itself, the waist area on these slacks. And I really like them. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people these days veer away from pleated fronts and certainly double pleated fronts. They tend to go for the flat fronted trousers. But I think the pleated trouser has a definite place for a gentleman who likes a little bit of flamboyance in one's outfit. And here are these trousers, nice break, good length, turn up at the bottom, uh, and there is a visible crease. So you've done your work. If you're learning your path with the iron, well done to you, sir. Looking good. Uh, a navy blazer looks to be somewhat, uh, a bit more casual. It's not sort of you know, it's got, it's got, when I say casual, it's got a bit of texture to it. It's not, say, you know, a, a fine woolen blazer. It's distinctively got more casual, uh, more texture to it, so it makes it a little more casual. But ideal for a younger gentleman. I like it, single-breasted, notch lapel. Uh, pocket square has a pocket square in place in the chaos fold, as I favour myself. Looking good, looking sharp. Good fit, fills the shoulders, adds that silhouette of statuesque gentleman to the outfit, for sure. Uh, we see a little hint of the, the uh, shirt poking out from the cuffs as they are in the pockets, hard to tell, but we can just see a hint of white. And that shirt is there for us all to see. It's a white shirt with quite a spread collar, which allows the tie to take front and centre stage. And in this instance, we have a tie which looks to be uh, completed with a four-in-hand knot, and it's a geometric repeating pattern tie with elements of certainly some brown and some blue. Uh, perfect marriage with the jacket, with the pocket square. It's a really nice collection of clothes. Tucked into the waistband, 
in the sort of Sprezzatura style. I like it. You're looking nonchalantly fantastic here, young chap, young Engelbert, and it sits well on you, sir. That is a lovely little outfit. You could wear that to church. You could wear that to any special occasion. You'd be the best dressed man in the room, irrespective of the fact you are merely a dozen years of age. Looking good. So let's see what young 10 year old Kennedy can do to, uh, to stay in contention with his older brother. Now, here we have an image of a smart little gentleman around town. I think you will agree. And let us see what we are at the ground level. What shoes do we have here? So nice pair of, uh, they could be black, they could be, I'm going to hope they're burgundy uh, shoes. Lovely little sort of um, derby style shoe. Very smart, very smart. When you're a young person, 10, 12 years of age, it's very hard to pick up the polish, isn't it? And polish the shoes. I know, right? I, my son went through that phase. I still have difficulty getting him to do it. For me, on my life journey as a younger person, I was lucky I was in the a, a, a youth cadet organisation and they encouraged us to polish our shoes. And when we had a little parade every, every time we met, you know, we were inspected and we were complimented on the shoe polish that we had done on our footwear. And from that point on in life, I always had this psychological thought that if I polish my shoes nicely, they will be complimented. They will be appreciated by other people. It's a good time to start thinking about how these little bits of effort that you put into your outfit will impact the way other people treat you and see you in life. A nice polish on the shoes wins the game every day. Now, looking up the body, we see a pair of white slacks and they look to be, uh, I'm going to guess, sort of cotton, something like that. And they look rather splendid. It's a summer outfit, isn't it? You know, summer slacks, uh, white. Yeah, good break, actually, for a young guy, considering you're growing every five minutes. I remember this phase with my own son. Uh, you've got a good break on the trousers. Turn your back, come back in a week and they're not going to fit you because you've grown. But in this particular day, the trousers fitted you very well cotton whatever these are made of um, hard to keep a crease in there because natural inclination of this material is to crease very easily so when you sit down all your hard work is undone but actually I see a crease in the front of the trousers you've done well or whoever did your ironing did well we look at the jacket and again it is a navy blazer such a perfect choice I say sitting here wearing a navy blazer myself single breasted uh, notch lapel single button which is spot on for a young guy. It's no point having two or three buttons when you know, you're know you quite small, stick to one button uh, and you never have to worry about whether you've got the right number of buttons done up or undone. Uh, yeah, lovely fit as well. Great length on the sleeve, finishing as it does at the top of the thumb area. Uh, and yeah, we can't see a shirt cuff poking out because I'm guessing this is a summer outfit. I'm gonna guess you're wearing a short sleeve shirt here, which is entirely appropriate. Uh, and looking at that shirt, worn open collar at the neck, it's a, a striped shirt, looks to be uh, some sort of a pink or, you know, a red family colour striped shirt, Bengal style stripes or thick stripes, uh, with a button down collar, really savagely casual, I think this one, it looks really cool. Uh, pocket square, of course, you have a pocket has to be filled with something. And I think it's that pocket square we saw in the earlier image. Looking pretty damn good. Looking good. And on there, if it's a summer's day, you gotta protect the bonds from that ultraviolet, from that fiery ball in the sky. And what we see here is what appears to be a nice straw Trilby style hat with a, a, a ribbon around the center. That is a lovely little outfit. I think any gentleman, regardless of age, would be more than happy to step out looking like that on a hot summer's day in a city anywhere in the in the world where people appreciate the well-dressed man. So those were the images sent in by Engelbert and Kennedy. They actually sent me a couple more, um, but we can't be here forever. So suffice to say, they are two well-dressed young brothers who I'm sure are well on their way on their pilgrimage to Chap Nirvana, even at this early stage of life. I'm sure Joseph 
that's probably down to you. Most of these influences come from dad. So well done to you, sir, for raising two smart, well-dressed young men. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more. If you'd like to see your images here on the Am I a Chap series, all you have to do is send me some pictures. You'll see my email address on the screen now. All you've got to do, send me those images in as much detail and definition as possible, head to toe. I want to see the shoes to the hat or no hat that you're wearing, but as much detail as possible will help me in providing an accurate response as I have done today with Kennedy and Engelbert, who I think you will agree have my determination as being very much chaps. So until the next time, stride forward towards Chap Nirvana with pride and passion, and I will see you again very soon.